Hello, I'm Alison. I'm the co-owner of the Hop In Micropub in Hornchurch. I'm a drinks educator and also a massive fan of really good cider and perry. So the ciders that we sell at the Hop In and the ones that I'll show you when I'm doing an education session are all made from 100% pressed pure apple and pear juice. What that means really is cider is actually more similar to wine than it is to beer. If you think about it, apples are harvested in the autumn, like grapes. They're pressed so that the juice runs out, again like grapes, and then they're fermented and sometimes often matured until they're ready to be released. The other thing that happens with cider is that very often it's blended. So different apples we blended together to give us really delicious flavours. So if we look at some of these ciders that we've got here, these are often what I would call fine ciders. And again, they could be appreciated a bit more like wine in a wine glass with food. They are a fantastic match. There are some great ciders and perries produced all over the country, in Scotland, in Wales, in the north part of the country. But sometimes it's useful to think about the majority of cider and perry being made around the, the east and the west of the country. Now, if we think about the east side of the country, we can think about the tradition of making cider from eating apples and cooking apples, so culinary apples. That gives us cider that's got a lovely combination of acidity, freshness, as well as the sweetness or dryness that the cider maker can choose to include. That'll be made of varieties of apples, things like coxes, things like um, russet, things like discovery, things that you might be eating uh, and buying as, as eating apples. Also bramleys, cooking apples and things like that. If we think about the west side of the country, we're talking about cider apples and peri pears. These are those small apples that you can't really eat because they contain tannins as well as acidity and sweetness. And the best of those can offer some really extraordinary flavours. Another way to think about it is the east side of the country, the eating and cooking ciders, those apples, are a bit more like white wines because they've got that acidity and sweetness, whereas the west side of the country, perhaps a bit more like red wines because you've got the tannin in there as well. Acidity, sweetness and tannin. So when we make cider from those apples and pears, we get lots of different combinations of flavours that we can create. Some of the fine ciders that we have here today from the West Country, from people like Tom Oliver, Ross on Y. We've also got this incredible champagne method cider from Hampshire, this gospel green, which is made from culinary apples and then it's put into the bottle and made like champagne where the bubbles get into the cider. It's an incredibly elegant drink, matches for it brilliantly for food and also great for celebrations. We've got some lovely Kent ciders like this one here, which have got that nice balance of sweetness and acidity. If you want to know more about cider being more like wine than beer, then have a look online for some of these producers or better yet, come and see and have a chat with us at the Hop In.